Hi, and thanks for joining me again on another episode of Monster MTV. We are approaching summer very, very shortly, and so we've got some summer hacks and tips on what to do around the home before summer to make sure that you maximize all the opportunities that are around the home and get the best out of the summer life in Australia as we like to enjoy inside and out around the home. So firstly, many of us have grass areas, either the front or the rear of our homes. Check your sprinklers. The system is really important. If you want, you've, a lot of grasses around the country sort of lie dormant during the winter. It's important to ensure that you have checked your sprinkler system. It probably hasn't been used for six to eight months if it's anything like my house. And if you've been in areas of Australia that's had quite a bit of rain, you haven't used that. So you've either had growth over the top of the sprinkler or you may have blockages, but now's the time to check the sprinkler. Get your timers right, okay? It is important that you want to make sure that you're wetting that lawn and also your garden areas at the right time of the day. So checking your timers are all working okay. So you can keep the green areas fed well and drenched. So number one hack is checking your sprinklers for external. And while we are talking about lawns and plants, give them a good feed now. It's important that while you're drenching them and wetting them out, that you ensure that uh, you've got some fertilizer and anything that might need to be used as a stimulant to get that growth and get that greenery up and going. Putting mulch into the garden beds is important now to ensure that you retain the moisture as well around those areas because the problem that you will have is you will use the water and if, if you just don't have any mulch there to retain the moisture, it will soak into the ground, evaporate, dry out. And those days of 35 to 40s are not far away between the major cities of Perth, Adelaide and Melbourne. I'm sure that we'll see those very, very soon. So yeah, getting the area ready for external use with that garden area is most important. The third one is your cooling system. Obviously inside the home now, we're going to get those sweltering days where days and nights come into play where we are using air conditioners. And so things like now is the time to check your vents, um, any, any of the filters that are inside the home. If you need to get it tested or serviced, don't wait until those days of 40 degrees hit your city because you know what happens? You just get to an answering service, no one's around to help you out it's too late. Now's the time to get it checked out, get prepared for that time. And so, almost like servicing your car, you know that the home is ready to go when you need to turn that thing on and cool the home, cool those rooms out, and so you're not hanging around with a pair of underwear on, walking around with a flannel and trying to keep cool. It is always better to have that uh, air conditioner used, ready to go, in good service and also maximizing that uh, your power bill as well because that will it's, if it's working over time or it's not working at all that's going to add to the cost ceiling fans many of you do have ceiling fans at home or you might have a combination of ceiling fans and also air conditioners <clears throat> so ceiling hands are, uh, ceiling fans are great to use um, before it really swelters up check that you've got them on the correct cycle check that they're stable sound uh, they're, they're not sort of flickering or swinging around or looking like they um, are moving in a direction they shouldn't be moving because obviously a, a ceiling fan that can um, pop off the top or come apart can be quite a dangerous bit of apparatus in the home and there have been horror stories about those in the past. So if you can't get up on a ladder and check it yourself, bring in someone that uh, can just check that it's all screwed in and operating fine and it also gives you a chance to get rid of all that dust on top of those fan arms to ensure that you're not blowing uh, dust in around the home that's sort of settled in over the winter period before you put them on. The next hack for summer is the outdoor furniture. It needs to be dragged out or looked at. You might have just uh, ignored it or forgotten about it over the period, but this is the time of year that you want to, before you start sitting and lying on it, you want to check it out because you might have some little friends that have joined into that area over, the summer, uh, over that winter period. And I have heard many stories of where people have had spider bites from sitting on the outdoor furniture, uh, particularly if it's dark and little things pop out and crawl up their shorts, which can be um, create a bit of a scene, particularly if you're having a party at home. So ensure you check all your outdoor furniture out first to make sure that it's clean of insects and there's nothing in there that's sort of um, spawning. And the other thing is just check it out. If it has been out in the weather, you may need to give it a sand, a seal, particularly if it's timber furniture. Uh, or a good clean, that, that's really the important piece. Um, because if you're gonna live outside and enjoy those summer nights or summer days under shade, 
you want to be able to have the furniture that you can use and enjoy with the family. This one is the big one, eliminate air leaks. We see this a lot where people talk about their power bills over the summer period and you've got your air conditioner working and you might have, you might have done what I mentioned before about getting it checked out, it's all working okay and yet some rooms just don't cool down and you'd be surprised it's either it comes down to the door sills or your window sills. You need to check these things out because that is where a lot of uh, cooling gets neutralised in the home while the air conditioner's on because the, you just don't have the window seals or door seals functioning as they should. So check it out, there are tubes of silicon you might need to use to ensure that joints and vents around certain um, windows and doors are, are correctly sealed. And there's also some really good sealing tape products out there that you can utilise. So it is worthwhile looking at, ensure that you can see that windows are closed when the air conditioner is on, there's no chance of any external air coming inside. Otherwise you're just going to be using that air conditioner more and more power bill goes up and you're not getting the, the desired uh, temperature inside. And lastly is the fire alarm. <clears throat> we tend to discard this one but many of us um, might be going on summer holidays or we're having big parties and we might be heavy sleepers over those nights after a big party. You want to make sure your fire alarm is actually functioning properly. So check it out, battery's up to date, um, is it has it been tested of recent times? You don't want to um, have a situation where you could be away and come back and hear a horror story of the fire alarm not going off or worse still people in the home and uh, sleeping through it. So it is a common one that we tend to neglect. We look, about, we, we look at things like external air conditioners, door seals, etc. but we forget the fire alarms. These are some real simple hacks that you might want to do before the summer. But it is the best time of the year in Australia to get out there, enjoy that summer weather, get the t-shirts and shorts on and a pair of thongs, enjoy a barbecue, a cold one. So if you've got any other hacks that we've forgotten, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to hear them and we'll post them on our Facebook page and ensure that we share them out there with our monster community. Thanks again for joining me on this episode of MTV. We'll see you next time.